Uh, this video is being made uh, just to highlight something that I'm after coming across that was very frustrating. It's basically about a card uh, that has been upgraded uh, where if you're using TIA version 14, uh, it looks as if you have to upgrade to TIA uh, version 15. Uh, but that's not necessarily true. And I'll explain it in detail here uh, just by looking at this um, uh, this this uh, page on the on the Siemens website. Basically, uh, I'm testing out spares uh, for a project, and uh, the project has been put in place. It's it's been there for for a little while now, and uh, there weren't uh, spares bought um, for the uh, the CPUs. And this CPU here is no longer actually being made. So they're only making this guy here. It's a, it's a 1AK02, and you'll see that the old version is 1AK01. So I'm after looking at a lot of uh, issues that came up on it, and uh, people have had uh, trouble trouble with this. So um, what, I, what I'll do is I'll just highlight what you need to do to get around this, right? That the problem can be uh, kind of surmised, right? That when you're actually trying to add a new CPU, and I have obviously TIA open here. You'll see that you you don't you can't actually see the AK02. So just to kind of bring that up again, right? You can't see the AK02 in TIA version 14. And yet, uh, what they're saying there is that uh, you know that it is backwards compatible. It looks very very unusual, right? So this is this is it in a nutshell. If you have this CPU here, the AK02. And what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to show my 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 screen. So I'll just literally show me on it. There's me. How are you? So I'm just going to pull this around, and we look at this is an S7 1500 here. If I can get it to 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 blur, if we go in here and if I look at the information, I'll see that this says version 2.5, and it is a 1511-1.pn. Okay, so you'll see there the actual the number, then it's AK02. So if you're using TIA uh, version 14, um, what you actually have to select is this here. You select the AK01, and then you select version 2.1. And if I just go online here, you'll see that this is actually using this setting, and it's going online uh, to that to that S7 um, that that uh, sorry that S7 1500 that I don't have the actual number for it and the version is different I've set it to 2.1 but this represents version 2.5 and the AK02 um, model number of that CPU that's it, it's very confusing. And it's all down to, again, uh, this article here. I've seen lots on it. There's stuff like this that comes up every now and then. This is highly confusing. And uh, it, it could have ended up getting in a lot of trouble. The, the site that uh, is being dealt with here, um, the the up the going from version 14 up to 15 is, is, is a tiny money uh, for them, but um, going up the version has a validation impact, and I, basically, for for anyone who comes across this confusion here, if they haven't uh, been in a position where maintenance or the project haven't um, accommodated for spares, um, it's going to be very confusing when you're writing down that this is actually what's been installed in a P in a CPU swap. Um, in case it ever goes down and that it won't have any impact. So it's one of those things where it's very unusual. Um, it doesn't feel comfortable um, uh, doing it off the bat, but this is what Siemens are telling you. So again, you have this CPU, it'll say version 2.5 on it, but when you're actually in a Somatic Manager, you're to just select the AK01 at version 2.1. Okay, so uh, hopefully this helps um, anyone out who's who's after coming across the um, the, the, the same issue.